Okay, so this video is just an explanation and will be two different videos. So this first is about how we can generate the imposters. I cut some classes, so this is just everything here you're gonna see during the course, but with the right examples, right tokens about what I'm doing. So this is just an overview about what type of assets you will generate using the imposter baker for this for this course. So a lot of this was from Quixel Mega Scan, so you can you can recreate the imposters like me. And I will explain to you how you can better configure the the material to show like the real static mesh because sometimes you can use just the imposter or sometimes you're gonna put in the LOD like the last LOD. These imposters is like the billboard techniques from the trees where when you optimize your asset with just simple triangles however this technique is very advanced and looks like a real static mesh without any pop-up but um, it's hard to do so this is why I generate this course for you and and my imposter version we have some features like if you download the Ryan Brooks originals right now we have the Unreal Engine 5 released we have the Farda 27 as the last Unreal Engine 4 and don't work so this is why right here in the Udemy you have the imposter plugin and we work for the Farda 27 so all of these assets was using some of them was free some of them was paid however this will work in any static mesh so you can grab some static meshes from Quixel or for from a real marketplace don't don't matter i show to you how to you can add the imposter in your material and then you recreate the imposter so the imposter will look like uh, a real static mesh all right like this however we have some drawbacks we don't have some shadows because it's just eight triangles for the static mesh and you can generate any type of optimization imposter like big static mesh or small this technique is is like um, I'm better for Nena, for Nanite because Nanite use the same technology more or less because I will create a video about this in the future explain the Nanite versus the imposters but it's the same idea because it's like a photogrammetry in editor so you already have your 3D 3D asset, okay, like this static mesh in Unreal, and the, the plugin for the imposter will take a lot of fot photos around the object, and the material will replace. So it's like a photogrammetry, but it's very advanced. So all of this video, in this video is you're gonna see during the cure so we're gonna optimize big cliffs trees environment like this so yeah we have buildings also for optimize this was the brushify pack but this will work in any static mesh okay i generate a lot of examples for this course because some of them are more unique like the buildings need to be straight line you need to worry about the the roughness the specular 
some of them not will be so good because some of them have the metallic values and you need to update the the material the imposter material to work better and this will looks a little outdated but it's the same idea and with all of these examples you will understand so the imposters not is good for close close perspective you know if you are if you are very close of the object not will look so good it will look very very bad however is in the far distance will looks perfect so this was the billboard and yeah don't look so good <laughs> and this is the imposter so looks like more like the original static mesh without any weird pop-up <clears throat> right now we have the imposter of the quixel so the quixel if you download the unreal engine Trees Quixel, I I don't remember. Maybe it's Black Alder, the name of the asset. You have the the new imposter material, but I include in the in the plugin of the Udemy, and you can download in the class number four, I think, for the project four dot twenty seven. Unreal Engine five now was released, so we need to test again and try to update some things but uh, yeah the imposter looks so so nice man so nice i don't i don't think you need to use the imposter for everything because right now in the unreal we have the runtime virtual texture so for the road you can use the spline or, run, or the runtime virtual texture. Imposter is better for the foliage because Nanite don't support the foliage actors and you could use the imposters. So all of these videos right here you're gonna see during the course so don't worry. And is a little repetitive because needs to be repetitive for you understand that you need to put the the imposter capture suite in your materials of the static mesh and all of the trees for from building for cliffs are different you need to calibrate the the, the maps like the specular the roughness to to look like the the real static mesh because if you don't do this it will be very bad you will have the weird pop-up like you will notice that is an imposter change in the LOD and this course is totally focused in the in the quality of the LOD so you you generate perfect LOD Okay, so in the Unreal Engine 5 we have Nanite and Nanite sometimes when supported don't need to create the LODs because they will generate it based in the camera distance. And but for some some other assets you don't need to use the Nanite and you can create the the LODs. Unreal Engine 5 are a lot more heavy than Unreal Engine 4, so this course will have a long date because, because yeah, GPU are very expensive and even with the Unreal Engine 5 looks so good, the performance not is so good. This is why you need to know how to generate the LODs and better imposters. So, yeah, 
this is the final quality we have the in, all of this is imposters as you can see in the wireframe and looked so nice man so nice when you calibrate it the the colors will looks perfect like this